Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more Elite Dangerous. Uh, yeah, that's the title of today's video. May give it away, we're going to be learning how to pirate in the Sidewinder. Yes, I want to do a little series showing how flexible the uh, the starter ship is in the game. Now, once you, uh, you join the game, my suggestion is you go to the bulletin board, you have a little look, and you uh, pick up some missions. Okay, they're probably going to be between sort of three and six thousand credits. Uh, just doing little hauling missions. This one's pretty nice, twelve thousand, but they won't all be like that. So uh, once you've done a few missions, you've uh, yeah, there you go. Look, eight thousand credits. That's kind of take uh, a little bit of information, so it doesn't even take cargo space, which is nice. Uh, classified data, yeah, again, 4,000 credits, no cargo space. So, I mean, stuff like that you can do um, pretty easy. And you can build up, you know, I don't know, 50,000 credits quite quickly. Um, and then you can look at kitting out your Sidewinder. Now, if we go to Outfitting, you'll see here the Random's Pirate Winder. Now, on here I've got uh, a couple of gimbaled pulse lasers. They are the cheapest gimbal weapons you can get. They're very good at taking down shields, which is nice. Got a cargo scanner and a kill warrant scanner. Uh, if we have a look here, you'll see... Well, you won't see, in fact, because I've got them fitted. Uh, can we do a comparison? Point defense cargo scanner. Well, the, the cargo scanner there, anyway, it's not very expensive. Um, it does take power though, so you will need to be looking at your uh, internals here, so your power plant. If you can upgrade that, we'll have a look here. I mean, the, the A really isn't all that expensive because it's only a tiny one. Um, but you can see there, you start with the E, you could quite easily get a D or a C um, if they've got them at the station, uh, and that will give you sufficient power for those. You'll see my internals here, all of these are uprated just because I could. Um, you don't have to, you can all be E-rated. The only real difference is your unladen, unladen jump ranges um, will be worse. 6.97 I think is your unladen at the standard in a Sidewinder. Um, which just limits how far you can do in a single jump. But yeah, big deal still do it. Um, cargo, this is the biggest limitation on this ship. You've only got really four tons with this build. Um, as a maximum on a sidewinder you could take the shields off and have four tons there, four tons there, two tons there, two tons there, totaling 12. That's the most you can physically carry um, but you do not have shields. You could put a class 1 shield on and carry 10. Okay, so that's your limitation really with this ship. You'll see here we've got a frame shift drive interdictor and a hatch breaker limpet controller. Um, they are upgrades to uh, what comes as standard. If we go, it's by module type already, that's cool. Let's just click that because it won't let me come out of there. Uh, you'll see here the limpet controllers, you can get them pretty cheap hatch breaker e class 600 credits virtually nothing okay so it is not going to bankrupt you uh, the one i've got on there 4800 credits nothing frame shift drive interdictor bit more expensive uh, they are down here you see there an e is 12000 credits uh, that would be your first entry level frame shift drive interdictor. So I reckon to build this ship and make it capable of pirating, not A rated or anything like that, just basic level, you're probably looking around 40, 50,000 credits, um, which sounds a lot, but if you start off and you're doing the missions, it's, it's achievable really quickly. Okay, so, what are we going to do? Okay, we need to go to a system where 
we're not going to care too much about whether or not we get a wanted status. Um, now I had a look at HIP 29792 uh, previously. In fact, I tried to record this video previously, uh, and I took on a Type 7 uh, that has lots of beam lasers, and it didn't end well. So this is the second attempt. Um, but we're going to go to Casano Ring. Now, the reason we're going here is because, if you look here, it's Anarchy, which is important, okay? And it has a black market, which is also important because a black market is where you sell all your bits so that's where we're off to you will see in my inventory I've got two limpets which is not that many and to get those you would go to uh, restock once you've got a limpet controller uh, you'll be able to load limpets in and you just load them in like that and if you want to take them out you take them out like that now I've only put two in just because Two is fine for what we're going to do here. It's uh, half of the cargo that we have, but uh, it's fine. And what we're going to look for are small trade ships, like a hauler, uh, possibly, possibly an adder. Um, but an adder, remember, does have the uh, the three weapon hard points. Retract man again. Retracting armaments. Okay, so we're going to nip out of here. Now you see the main scanner there in the middle of the screen at the bottom. Uh, to the left of that is a little circle. You see the little hollow dot? That means our destination is behind us. As I turn to face it, it becomes solid. And then all we do is we line Sound it up detected. in the crosshairs like that. And we'll give it a couple of little boosts just to get out of mass lock. Um, this is a sidewinder, so it's not the best ship in the game, not by far, uh, for doing this, but I want to prove that you can do everything in the game in a sidewinder. So we're out of mass lock, so let's jump and uh, get over to this system, HIP29792. And let's see if we can find some uh, targets. Four, three, two, one, engage. And we're away. Right. Now, ideally, they want, or they need to be wanted, ideally. Um, because that means you will not end up with bounties and stuff like that on your head. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to drop in and we're going to throttle down for a second and we're going to let the game um, populate the system which it will do with ships after a moment or two of you being here it will start dropping ships into the system so the way you check that you go to your left menu and there we go we've got an adder so let's see what this adder is and what he's up to. Is he wanted? Is he clean? Please be wanted. No, you're clean. Okay, that's fine. Uh, internal security service. It's unlikely that they are going to be wanted. So we'll give it a minute just to uh, see if anything else drops in. Nothing as yet. So, do you know what? Let's pick this guy. Let's throttle up. Now, it might take some moment or two to catch him because uh, we need the speed up. And then, what we could do is we could interdict him. Now, depending on where you are, if you're in an anarchy system, um, which this isn't anarchy, the uh, the station we're going to is anarchy. So, yeah, you need to bear that in mind. Uh, we've got another, we've got an adder there. Let's have a look at him. Let's 
So let's swing it about. Now let's see if you're wanted. Are you wanted? You are. Marvellous. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up behind him. And we're going to interdict him. Right. Because he's wanted. So we should be able to interdict him from here. Which we can. And we'll keep him in the centre of the crosshairs. Preferably. Which will pull him out of super cruise. Uh, if we can line him up. It's quite difficult to interdict with these little tiny interdictors. Uh, they do throw you around quite a lot. But a bit of practice, you'll get it. So let's get this guy. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. Warning. There we go. Temperature right. Critical. Warning. So we've interdicted him. Critical. Next target. Cycling next target. Okay. So let's get our hard points out. And what we want to do now is we want to kill Warrant and cargo scan him. Now he's got a shield, which will mean we need to take that down. So let's get the scan in. There we go. Right, now then we can have a look here. So he's worth 12,375. And he's carrying technical blueprints, trinkets of hidden fortune, and other goodies. Right, so let's go. Let's. Uh, switch to our lasers because we need to take his uh, shield down and we'll put three pips into engines and weapons now we should be able to outmaneuver him because he is in an adder but he does have the three hard points so you need to uh, we have a missile incoming apparently uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on them they're probably dumb fires, but we'll uh, we'll get his shield down, Target shield and then we'll applied. swap uh, fire groups Programming the Olympic group. and send a hatch breaker at him. Hatch breaker limpet engaged. There we go, and we'll see what he drops. Now, the other way of doing this is you can target um, a ship's cargo hold which isn't easy to do. Right, apparently we have no chance now, according to him. Um, let's see what he drops though. Target cargo dropped. Okay. So let's see what it is he's dropping. Trinkets of hidden fortune, not bad, not bad. Atmospheric processors, again, pretty good. Uh, right, so mate, your boy's still behind us. Um, he's he's shooting at us now. Well, that's not very friendly, is it? Okay, he is wanted, remember, so we can kill him. Uh, but we want to get as much cargo out of him as possible, really, so we can select the best stuff. So we'll we'll knock his shields down again. We'll send another hatch breaker at him. And then, once he's on there, Mayor, a term Dark. used to describe a what large doing, circular Dark? plane. The word mare means sea. On the moon, the maria are the smooth, dark colored areas. So we'll see what other bits we get out of him. And then. No, but he's going to try and fight us. There we go. So, he'll be dropping some more cargo now. Which is lovely. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to kill him. Uh, mainly because he's worth a bounty. So, we may as well get the double whammy of the, uh, the cargo and the bounty. So he's trying to uh, outmaneuver us, but remember he is in a not a better ship, but uh, he's in a cargo ship, which they're not renowned for their uh, maneuverability. But I am in the smallest ship in the game, so you know it's all relative.
There we go. We're making a big mistake, apparently. Says the man who's at 30% hull. Okay. Well, that's shielded back up. It won't last long. And we'll be taking your bounty too. Thank you very much. Right. So let's go to contacts. Let's have a look and see what we want. Let's take some technical blueprints, shall we? Because I think they're probably going to be worth a bit more money. So we'll nip over here. Now remember to uh, deploy cargo scoop. The cargo scoop ready. Oh, overshot it very slightly. Eh? Balance power. Equalizing now. So we'll uh, pick these up and we'll see what they're worth. We'll have a look in inventory. You see, four and a half thousand. So you get about half price for. Uh, Let's go for trinkets of hidden fortune. Let's see what they're worth. Let's nip over here. Now you're not going to get system uh, authority vessels coming to the aid of a wanted person. So that is good as well. If you do it on a non-wanted person, they could well come in the... Uh... Excellent. Well done, random. Uh, yeah, they could well come in and uh, start attacking you, so bear that in mind as well. Then it won't just be what you're fighting, it will be the uh, the Federales as well. So let's close up on this guy and let's throttle down a little bit sooner than we did, shall we? Now you see there, underneath the uh, blue square, which is representing the cargo hatch uh, there's a percentage just like ships canisters have holes and they degrade over time so if you get something particularly valuable you don't want to leave it floating in space too long because it will just blow up so we'll pick that up we'll have a quick look and see what they're worth they're not worth anywhere near as much okay uh, let's get some atmospheric processors and then we'll just grab some more of whatever's nearest so pirating does involve quite a lot of scooping uh, unless you've got collector limpets which do make it a lot easier but uh, we don't have room for them in this so, what are the technical blueprints? Atmospheric processes. Technical blueprints is what we want then. So let's get some of them, uh, which are over here. There, the money. There, where we're trying to get the cash from. And we'll uh, grab these. See if there's any more actually. We might get rid of one of the lower lower um, value items. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. That's okay. Right, technical blueprints. There are, there's more. Uh, where are you? You're over here, and what are you? You're 29. So we'll start flying over towards it. And what we'll do is we will dump these because they're, they're rubbish they're not worth anything so we'll get some technical blueprints my cargo bay is not full um, because I've just dumped one ton of cargo so I should be able to pick this up right there we go we're closing up on him so he's only got 20% hole left so uh, not a lot of time that explosion that, hold that was a canister so let's see have we got any more technical blueprints 17 percent 18 percent let's go for those ones uh, and let's get rid of when we've lined up on them uh, the uh, the other rubbish that we've got all oh, this miles away we should be able to make it though let's uh, shut the cargo bay for a second 
get a bit of speed get a bit closer yeah we should be fine okay so let's open the cargo bay drop the throttle so we don't dump into them and we'll jump those into space so that we can pick up these ones it's going to be close 7% but uh, that's fine. Five percent. Thrusters forty percent. No, shut up, Doc. So we pick. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Oh well. Tell you what, we'll leave him right. Ah, <sighs> so let's figure out where it is we were going. Uh, system map. And we need to go over to that particular station there, so we'll select that. We'll retract our weapons. We'll line up for the jump. And we'll start the frame shift. There we go. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now you'll see bottom right of the screen where it says mass lock landing gear is that if you look above it we've got illicit cargo excuse me deploying cargo scoop no stop um so yeah you'll see we've got illicit cargo there and uh, that obviously if you get scanned is going to cause you problems if you look at the cargo in your inventory you'll see it's illegal and stolen now illegal is what will trigger the illicit stolen cargo um, will also trigger it but neither one of them will make you wanted what you will get is a fine if you get scanned um, this is important to know because if you want to pirate correctly uh, because there is a correct way of doing it what you would do is what we did to that adder to start with which is take the shields down break the hatch take the cargo and then go okay you wouldn't kill them unless they're wanted if they're wanted and you can kill them great get the bounty as a, an, a side bonus if you like now this is going to be um, about six grand maybe seven grand uh, in credits now bear in mind you're you know at the start of the game you're in the starter ship that's a pretty good amount of money. Add on to that the uh, the bounty. I think was twelve thousand. Yeah. You know, that's nearly twenty thousand credits. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not for a sort of, I don't know, twenty minutes work. Um. So yeah, we're uh, flying over to Casano Ring. Let me know what you think about this video guys in the uh, the description of the uh, comment section, beg your pardon. Um, you know, what would you like to see the Sidewinder do? Would you like to see it in a high res, uh, high has res, or in a combat zone, or uh, doing some trading, doing a bit of exploring, you tell me. Um, there's loads of things you can do in the starter ship you know you can do everything in the game in this ship just on a, a smaller scale due to cargo space jump capacity and things like that um, but there is nothing that you cannot do so we're coming up on this station it's a uh, an outpost station which is nice they don't tend to have too much security. You might have the odd one or two um, system security vessels, but this is anarchy, so it shouldn't have any. It may even be a pirate station. We'll have a look. I like the pirate stations. They look kind of cool with the signs on. So we'll start slowing down and uh, try and keep that time around the sort of eight second mark. Uh, there we go, just bringing it back up uh, and that means you should 
be coming in about the right kind of speed. So we're lined up with what, seven and a half light seconds. Coming in, it's looking good. Now you might find it a little bit difficult if you use this particular build um, and you go to a system that you haven't got previous uh, scans of or isn't openly available um, because you don't have a discovery scanner in this build so you would be reliant on your previous knowledge and what's already available on the, uh, the galaxy map there um, it's always worth having a look before you head in just to make sure it's not a wasted jump you know because you really do want those uh, black markets there nice and local so you can just cash in straight away because obviously if you're flying around with goods on so we're less than a megameter there we can disengage jump drive frame shift deactivated there we go Give it a little boost towards the station and get to under seven and a half kilometers. Then we'll request docking. Request docking. Docking request granted. It's a bit slow sometimes, Dark Blessing, but it's his age. Uh, okay, so we can see the uh, the lip pad there, number two. Let's uh, head towards it. The numbers are always at the back of the pad so where the front of your ship goes is underneath the number um, so let's slow down a bit see how best to come into this it's a bit of an awkward one this I've got this kind of box thing in the way um, let's whoop, mind the pipe work there and we'll come in round this side to deploy landing gear the gear is down and locked. Okay, and then we'll land on this particular platform here. So we'll line up. And when it goes blue, try and get the, uh, the little red dot in the middle of that. And then lower yourself down. Nothing and we're landed. Into the hangar. And then services. <laughs> so, first things first. Costs. Okay, we took a little tiny bit of damage dropping out of uh, the interdiction there, that's fine. You normally take one or two percent. Uh, we'll go to contacts and we'll cash in the bounty vouchers of 12,775 per ching. Then we'll go to the black market which is also in contacts. We want to sell some illegal goods and you'll see here these are 3,390 each they're going for. So actually that's pretty good. 3390. Yeah, that's better than half price. Um, before we do that though, let's go to the bulletin board because you might find a mission for uh, collecting the stuff that you've picked up. You might, you might not. Okay. Um, they'll probably have something like this. The little skull there. You know, acquisition services and they're after stolen grain there I mean it, it's not um, that particular one that we're after but it gives you an idea you can have a look there and uh, see if what you've picked up is desired if it is you'll get more money for it than you will do just selling it so we got 10,170 there that could have been had I not blown that up um, what 13 and a half thousand uh, plus the 12,000, that's 25, well, nearly 26,000 credits. That's pretty good. Pretty good indeed, considering it's your start ship. It's a good way of making dishonest money. Um, <laughs> you know, just bear in mind that you are in a tiny ship. You don't want to be taking anything too big on. Um, haulers... Uh, type 6s, I think probably the biggest thing you want to be trying 
to battle they've got the the two small hard points um, so they'll have small weapons uh, type 7 <clears throat> they've got more power so you need to watch out for beam weapons and stuff like that on them uh, which will just eat your shields um, but yeah stuff like a hauler with its one little tiny gun uh, you'll you'll trounce it you really will um, and you can take whatever it's carrying as an honest pirate would so there we go guys that's uh, episode one of what you can do in the sidewinder um, let me know what you think uh, if you liked it hit the like button if you didn't hit the uh, dislike button you know it's fine I don't mind um, leave me a comment if you've got any suggestions or uh, any comments at all on what you would like to see and uh, if you'd like to see more then the subscribe button is there give it a tap and you will get notified next time I put a video up in your timeline that's enough from me for now thank you ever so much but uh, Commander Random or Pirate Random in this case signing off take care see you again soon guys <laughs>